Okay, so we only have two piles here. This is gonna be kind of like a you and them, but I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. We're gonna look into um, thoughts, feelings, and then actions. I'm gonna look in at the extended. I'm gonna offer that here. It's in the description box down below. There'll be a link for it. If I, I try, I've been thinking about this a lot, how I could fit all this into this reading, but it would just be so long. So I don't wanna cut that part short because I think the, the actions are real important because I'm also gonna look at what could be shifting with those actions, a possibility for that. So um, anyway, that will be in the extended down below. So thoughts, feelings here, um, and two piles to choose from. So the first paw here is the, the bottom deck is the, um, what is that? <laughs> the Forest Creatures Tarot. And then that will be your energy in the top deck here is the Dream Keepers Tarot and that will be your persons. That'll be pile one. And then pile two here is the, the bottom deck would be your energy. That's the Luna Soul um, or Lunar Soul Lunar Eclipse Tarot. Thank you. <laughs> Good grief. The top pile here is the uh, Spellcasters Tarot. That'll be your person's energy. And... Um, also, guys, I do offer a you and them, the full version, where it's all your side, their side, thoughts, feelings, and actions, um, as a personal reading down below. And right now, until January, I'm doing a special uh, you and them that's uh, 60 minutes for 45. So anyway, if you're interested in that, it's in the description box too. So that's all I have here, guys. Pile one and pile two. Timestamps are down below, and I'll see you at the Hey, pal one. Okay, so if y'all missed the intro, I have to tell you here. <laughs> um, I'm doing thoughts, feelings, and then actions are going to be in an extended down below because I just, I'm kind of, I don't, these take a lot of time and, and energy, and I have some time this right now to do this, but I am kind of tired. So um, I want to make sure I bring all the messages y'all know that need to come through with as much energy as I have. So, Otherwise, it wouldn't be very good. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest. <laughs> I would have a hard time focusing. So what we're gonna do here, so that'll be in the description box down below if you're interested in that. Um, so what we're gonna do here is thoughts and, and feelings. First, I'm gonna get some of these and these, and I can't remember the name of these guys. I'll have to put it in the description box down below. But I'm gonna get some of these for your energy, your person's energy. And then we're also gonna get some of the Queen of the Moon Oracles for the connecting energy before we get started on um, deepers, deeper, a deeper look at that. And um, also I'm gonna do your person here and then you will be here on, no, your energy first and then your persons will be on the bottom. I wanna look at your energy first so you know if for sure this is your reading or not. Okay, so let's start with there with your energy here. What is Paul One's person? It's a habit. <laughs> what is Paul One's energy? Overall energy, please, for Paul One. Paul One's overall energy. Mm -mm. <laughs> Guys, I swear. But did y'all not see these same cards come out all ago? And I stuck them back in there and I said, uh uh. They throw at me again anyway. So let's just look at them, see what we have. We have Unity, number 34. We have Love, <sighs> number 17. And we have Luck. Guys, I'm so glad I took these now. That's awesome. This is your energy here, okay? Now, I'm only gonna leave this one out. These two I'm gonna put over here to the side because I just don't have the room. But guys, this is your energy here. This is unity. This is union. A time of divine understanding. Renewal, peace, and hope. You radiate and attract great love. You're in this energy. And I think that's great. And then you have love and luck here, which is awesome. I mean, lucky and love. This is this energy here that I'm feeling. So I don't know what's going on with you. Um... If you have come into union here with somebody, then you are definitely staying in a high, more vibrational energy when it comes to that. And I think that 
you're able to see the positive side of things is is what's bringing you fortunate what's bringing you luck cuz you're 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 what you're you're doing mentally right now is you're trying to stay optimistic you're trying to stay in a more high vibrational energy and so this wish that you have right now, guys, this is heavy manifestation that I'm seeing, by the way. But this wish that you have right now is this love energy. And this is the star. This is this is love and the star. So this is a wish that you are literally creating something here, manifesting something, and you're putting this into a reality because of being in the sun energy with the number 19 here, okay? Aquarius and Leo energy here. This is, I haven't even read these yet, and I'm going to, but this is, um, I wasn't really expecting this to come out like this, but this is pretty freaking awesome. Um, also, I'm leaving these out for you guys, because now what I'm feeling is that this right here is the connecting energy here with unity, and then this would be it, your energy here with love, and this would be your person's energy here with luck. So these are the two kind of differences is how you're kind of seeing the difference is how the perspective that you're seeing the connection itself. Okay, so this is this is going into a um, a different part of this. Now I'm going to read these now. So it's like let me let me I need to explain that more. I feel like <laughs> maybe I don't, but I feel like I do. It's like your person here is in more of a stronger, more of an optimistic um, about uh, this opportunity here because you have the sun and about um, having success or, or staying there. You're both in a high vibrational energy, but the perspective of the connection itself is a, is a little different. This one over here is, is your, whichever side you're on really, but this is your person here and because you could be here, you know, um, is seeing things in an abundance kind of way and trying to stay on the optimistic side. And you're in an energy of this manifestation, this wish that you have when it comes to the way that you feel, this love that you feel, and maintaining that in a high vibrational energy. Do you see? So interesting. I'm still going to pull one of these. Um... <clears throat> oh, but let me read these while I'm shuffling here. So love. Love surrounds all your connections. Move forward positively in all areas of your life. And this is the thing here with you. You are actually in this energy overall, um, not just with this connection itself. That's why you, the way that I see a manifestation, I know this sounds kind of weird, but in my mind is like a small thing, like a thought. And as the thought, or as I become more, I feel like aligned with things, it kind of ex expands. And right now, with, with this connection and your energy here, I'm seeing it as a heavy expansion. So it's not only affecting this connection, like it would be closest to the manifestation, but it's also connecting, it's radiating like the sun. So it's, it's, highlighting other areas in your life and you're attaching that as well as far as your manifestation goes so you're in a high vibrational energy for that so if i were you i would be doing a lot of um i mean man, i would do a lot of meditations and kind of use that as much as you possibly can while you're there if this is really the way that you are guys if you're connecting with that what i'm saying Your person as well is in a is 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 in the same, but theirs is pertaining to to luck. Theirs is pertaining to opportunities and success with the sun energy there. A driven energy, you know, that's fire. That's Leo energy. Something that they feel driven to do internally. Um, that. It, it's fire for me is this is the wand so spirit representing spirit so their spirit their soul it's some, that something in that nature is is maintaining this abundance like luck um 
This may also be something that's very recent here for this person, this energy. And it could be because of this union, because of the, the, so when the union itself is, is, is like where that manifestation sits from this, this is how you're uniting. This is your source in a way, right? I hope this is making sense, guys. I know I this came out in a reading the other day. This is just really kind of more of a spiritual, in a spiritual nature, um, this connection. <clears throat> this middle energy says it's the number 34, which is the number seven, which is about alignment, by the way, and, and a very divine number. Um, so sorry, I just slurped, guys. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I was in a hurry. <laughs> I know that's rude. Um... A time of divine and understanding, renewal, peace, and hope. And I know I already read this, but you radiate and attract great love. This is what's kind of happening here because this it, this connecting energy is here. So it's it's think of it on a on an energy level. If we're looking at just energy, okay. This is where the the main source is is the connecting energy. Tell me more. Of this connection itself can you please spirit give me overall energy of this look at this i can't make this up it says abundance here number 38 so three is the number of growth and eight is actually leo energy it's that infinity it's that manifestation thing the loop that you're kind of in here for me it's also about action and um progress and mastering something the number eight Three is about creating something. And this is heavy kind of empress looking energy here for me. Um, and then also, oddly enough, guys, in the background here, you have this masculine look. You have the, the stag that's following right behind her. You see that? That's, that's divine masculine energy. Animals are important here for some reason. Animals are important. Something else is that the two of you are both being very strategic. And I think that when it comes to this connection and this union, and I think that you're also kind of keeping things to yourself. Um, she's holding that fox. That fox is that deceptive kind of energy, sly kind of energy, you know, being um, in that nature. And I think the, if this is your person here to the right of me, then I think that they kind of recognize this as going on with you. Your, your person here is kind of going through a, um, um, kind of a moment. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how to say this. While well, I'm tapping into their energy right now, it's like they're going through kind of a, there's a little bit of distrust that comes to the way that they kind of see you. And as far as, I mean, I'm going to get cards. It's, it's like a energy of um, not knowing if you can trust someone or not, because you know that they're kind of in a mindset of being strategic about things. But I think this is both of you. I don't know why they're representing it to me as the, as the feminine energy here with the empress looking energy. Um, and I'm sorry about my voice, guys. It's really early in the morning. And my throat just keeps messing up. I've been doing a lot of readings and I'm losing my voice. Um, something else they're wanting to point out is that is the number three. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a cycle here, guys. 
and then 38 is the number 11. Here we go. So you have 11, 11 here for me. This is a one, guys, number 34. Can, can be one, six, eight, love, number six, eight, manifestation, luck, abundance, mastering a skill, moving forward. Um, yeah, guys, this is a spiritual reading. This is a this is a more spiritual connection here. If y'all don't understand anything, y'all don't know what I'm saying. Um, then then maybe this isn't your reading because this is for someone that understands this kind of connection and how it works. The Queen of Swords in reverse. There's an underlining kind of, here comes the fears and, and stuff, guys. I can feel it coming on. My whole energy has just changed. It has to do with that distrust and there's a lack of communication. Um, on in this connection. So we'll start with your energy here. How is Paul One's feeling? Feeling towards their person in this connection, Paul One. How are they feeling? I don't think I finished saying the reason they showed me the divine feminine energy here is because that's what's being birthed, like the Empress energy. She bursts things into reality. So what's being birthed right now? It you're in this process of what's being birthed right now as far as this connection go connection goes and it's like your um with all this manifestation energy is why this is in this empress energy because it's saying that you right now is like the primal point for this manifestation that's why it's so high it's kind of like a snake's poison is the most potent when they're babies it's like this freshness that's here um so there's something to do with distrust and loyalty here. Um, the Knight of Wands. You're in a place to where you're not kind of expressing yourself in a certain kind of way. Did you see the fox? Guys, <laughs> I didn't even point that out. Um, yeah, crazy, isn't it? Okay, so let's see. Your energy. How are you feeling towards this person? Um... Okay, so we have the eight of wands. There's that fire that you're that you're feeling. <laughs> and the page of coins. So this is a playful energy for me. This page of coins. How are you feeling towards your person? How are you feeling towards your person? The eight of wands is for that forward mo motion. Guys, there's no coincidence that two eight just came out. Isn't that insane? Um, so the eight of pentacles in reverse. This is about um, not seeing that progress or that forward motion like you're wanting here. Wanting it to move forward here with the wands, right? That intention is set um, and the fire's here. Um, but the progress is off. So this is what they're talking about. This is why this reading's kind of coming out the way that it is. There's a playful energy here. Oh, that's the page of coins, not the page of cups. Whoa, that's, guys, sometimes I swear to y'all, I see something different from what I'm seeing. I don't know if that's a thing, but I swear I saw the page of cups. So I want to, but when I picked it up off the floor, it was almost in reverse, but I felt the need to pick it up right. I got it. So the page of cups in reverse, if I take that into consideration, that's about you kind of being a, overboard in a way with your emotions and having to kind of retain that or stay focused and grounded here is something that's why they're showing me the page of of coins here staying grounded and being in a more realistic or playful like energy is helping you to maintain that emotion the emotions that you feel Can i have some more about how paul one is feeling towards their person the will of fortune there's that luck. <laughs> fortune, fortunate. You feel fortunate. Um, 
to have this experience right here and the the wheel you're on the wheel you're 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 experiencing the fortune is the way that you're seeing it. I'm experiencing I'm experiencing this fortune this opportunity that I have right now as a opportunity of fortune. This is the mindset that you're in, which is a great mindset to be in. And you're also seeing this as something that is in divine timing. You're allowing time timing and being fortunate in this moment take over your mind space in a way to where you're maintaining that more high vibrational energy. I don't, this is like an energy read, guys, but like on a different kind of level. These two came out together. I mean, they're all energy reads to me, but I mean, it's like, it's different. There's, this feels different. I can't explain it. Okay, so the Ten of Cups here with the Knight of Swords in reverse is, we're going to go ahead and take it. I'm actually going to leave this Knight of Swords as a um, indicator of, yeah, you're not wanting to, you're trying to stay in this and it's causing a little bit of imbalance because I do feel like you're seeing this as your person. You don't know how to really take this person with this knot of swords in reverse. Maybe sometimes they can be, they can seem very um, cold or, yeah, there's a really cold energy that I'm feeling from that. And protective in, in a way. Um, Maybe over their own abundance, maybe over their own um, with this Ten of Cups. But this is also the thing here with you. Maybe you feel like this Ten of uh, Cups is a, a, a more abundant energy, by the way, that Ten of, um, no, Ten of Cups. This is about, um, I did it again, Pentacles to Cups. You're really trying to ground yourself. Um, and you have these two tens here two eights here. You're really trying to stay focused and grounded where you currently are. Because I think that I keep seeing cups in my head for some reason. So I don't know if you're just, you have this ten of cups here and this is the nine of swords on top of that trying to keep that grounded, which, which is really even stranger that, that you have literally this this ten of cups has these anchors she's in all the cups or what's kind of would keep her floating you know not grounded if she wasn't paying attention you're trying to stay grounded so cool that this is the card isn't it um because that makes total sense this grounded energy that i'm feeling and this nine of swords is a is in a way, you're not being fully honest with yourself because you are trying to maintain um, a lack of really recognizing your emotions here in a way. So there, there you need to kind of pay attention to that and um, try to not change the emotion when you're trying to hold it back. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Look at that. The hermit. She's literally setting and it's a tree. Oh boy. I think that your person here is, um, I'm hesitant to say, to be honest with you. I want to say that they may be coming out of some kind of reflective state. Are wanting to come out of some kind of isolation are starting to come out of some kind of isolation tell me more about that this person's starting to feel better and I'm really not sure exactly what that means yet how's this person feeling How's one person feeling about this connection? The Six of Cups. This person feels nostalgia. That's what they feel. 
about this connection. They're getting back to a um, playful energy with that Six of Cups. Is The Six of Cups, guys, I <laughs> love the Six of Cups. You have the two little girls that are sitting here holding a cup together. And, you know, they're on that swan, which is that is a demi-swan. But there's union here with the two of them. Um, and they're creating memories. And your person is in an energy of where they're thinking about this. I think that they're thinking about, um, they're in a really nostalgia-like energy. Um, and... It's helping to create this more high vibrational place for them. You're thinking about things. The King of Swords, then steps in logic. <laughs> then steps in logic. So that's Aquarius energy, um, Cancer energy for me too as well. It's actually Scorpio energy, but, um, it's like, <laughs> I'm getting the craziest stuff right now. I'm going to show y'all this. It's like, this person is literally thinking about things in the past here and they're taking notes about those things that they they're starting to gather like their thoughts from this nostalgic like energy so they're thinking about the past here with you and they're kind of analyzing that compared to um i think this present energy was, okay look at that <laughs> The Queen of Swords in reverse the second time that she's come out. And she was in your injury first. So I think this is you here, obviously. Um, so you have a counterpart here, but you're not seeing eye to eye. And this goes back into this perspective kind of thing here that we talked about in the beginning. And this is why this reading's coming out. Because they're wanting you to kind of think about this. As far as your perspective here goes. And the lack of communication, I feel like, on your part of being... <laughs> There's an idea that you could possibly be maybe too grounded. <laughs> that could be um, that could be a place that you may be coming across in a way that you're not seeing. But um, <laughs> this person could be thinking about how. I mean, they're looking at the past in a way of comparing the past to the present and how there's differences here. Um, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> there's a lack of... The Seven of Pentacles in reverse is a card of when you're investing into something, but there's not you don't you don't feel like there's any kind of long term success or, or reward at the end of that investment, or that's an investment that just won't pay off, um, in some way. Guys, it's almost like this person's trying to figure out. Let me get one more. The four cups. Dang it. <laughs> I knew that that was going to be the one that came out. I should have said it. This person is not moving. You, look at, I'm going to show you all this with these numbers because this is kind of insane. And this brings me back to how this divine masculine energy here is behind this feminine in a way, um, because your energy, you have these eights and a 10. 
your person energy has the six and the seven, and then you, they're going back here to four, okay? This person's, and, and the six of cups is a card of going back um, in time, you know, the past memories. This person is a little bit in a reflective state, and you know, we saw that hermit, and I was like, oh man, <laughs> when I saw that hermit in the beginning, that's why. This person is in more of a reflective kind of state, and they're kind of in a place to where they're almost kind of dissect, dissecting this connection and processing through it. These are the blockages that are here, and this is what's causing this four, four of cups. This person's analyzing these two energies of The Seven of Pentacles in reverse is a card of, like I said, not seeing the long-term investment there or the value in it. Or it's just not unfolding in the way. Or not knowing how it's going to unfold is there as well. Just not having a clear understanding here altogether about these two. Can you give me one more for that? Yeah. The Ace of Pentacles. This right here is about this person trying to dissect the connection and evaluate the connection. And they could be coming across to you as being this cold energy because this person's in a place to where they're they are having a hard time being able to ground ground this in a way where it sees, it, they can see this long-term investment here. Can I have one more for the Ace of Pentacles? Now listen, now we have the Queen of Wands here. Give me one more. Thank you. Ace of Swords. I know. I don't, I don't, I know y'all can tell my energy is completely shifted. Here. So here's the deal. You have two aces here with this Queen of Wands. Now this Queen of Wands is. There's so much stuff that's coming off of this card right now. Okay, let me break this down here. Look at that. Queen of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles and the Chariot in reverse. This person sees you as someone that in this in this connection itself, you would still be able to be to come out on top in the end. There's they see you as being in a position to where You're not losing anything, or there's not a lot of risk on your part. I don't know. They see you as being very abundant, okay? So here's the back thing. There's the Ace of Wands and the Devil in Reverse. This person's really worried about this new beginning here not going in a very good way, not going in a positive direction. I think this person also sees you as someone that's very giving to them as far as <sighs> you see this chariot this is cancer energy by the way do you see how there's two masks that the chariot's holding here this is spirit okay and they're like in order for this to move into a positive direction there needs to be a the masks need to be removed here the masks need to be taken off and this is the same thing that I'm feeling up here, especially in your energy here. But with the foxes that we talked about in the beginning, so it's the same kind of thing that I'm feeling here. 
or it's not going to move in the it's there's a this is the blockage you you don't know how to kind of move this in a direction to where there's a you can be honest here this is what your person's thinking but this here if you are this queen of wands you are in this energy of taking your mask off um this is something that this is something that your person kind of thinks about you have the Ace of Pentacles, which is that grounded new beginning, new opportunity, and the Ace of Wands here in a communication or a truth. Okay. Um, remember that this is your thoughts, okay? Keep that in mind. These are thoughts. So this is what your person, this is what you are in this energy of thinking. You're just trying to ground yourself, to be honest with you, and, and as far as your thoughts go and, and keep your heart kind of stable. Your person's in, they need to get out of this four of cups, this reflective energy, because it's like borderline anxiety. Do you know what I mean? It's like a where you start to, you can overanalyze and overthink and then it kind of, it causes you to go back, which is what's happening here because this is the four you're, and you're gone from, you know, you have the six here, you're going back, he's going backwards. The king of, king of swords, he's going backwards. It's like, um, This person, guys, I have to say this. I know this is going to suck, but I have to say what I'm feeling, right? Or what I see. There's a chance that this person's trying to think about if they should. <sighs> this person has this idea, guys, that if they cut you off or if they're cold towards you in some kind of way, that they'll there the chances of them seeing your true self or your true reaction will come out this is what they're trying to ground this is what they want and this person doesn't feel like they're fully getting that from you because they know that they're not because you are holding this back and this person doesn't feel completely safe without seeing some part of you that they feel like is there, that they sense is there, but you're not showing. Oh my gosh, guys, that took me forever to kind of figure out what the crap all that was. But that's actually pretty intense. Okay, so, whew. Very, I don't think like that. <laughs> I'm more in my heart space as well. So that was really hard to decipher the energy I was feeling. My gosh. Okay, so let's see. I spent so much time on that, guys. I'm sorry. Let's see what what's in their heart, if anything. Let's see what's in their heart space. Um. Good grief. These cards are kind of big. I do love this deck though, but. Okay, so your energy here. So what, pile one, what is your, in your heart? When <laughs> There's no telling what we're going to see here. I feel like some cups are coming. Um, Because I feel like you're fighting right now currently with trying to stay grounded in your head. So there's no telling what's in your heart. <laughs> what are... What is Pile One's heart space for their person in the connection? Temperance in reverse. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> this is what I was talking about. You're having this. This is Sagittarius energy, by the way, which is. <laughs> um, it's hard to keep a Sag is kind of. I feel like maybe it's just me because I'm a Cancer Sun and a Sagittarius rising, but. 
I just feel like Sagittarius, I mean, Sagittarius is, are to me more of the um, fire sign that is more um, driven with more of emotion behind it. Like, I don't know how to explain this. And it just might be because it's me or whatever, but like their fire is more of an, um, becomes, is coming from a more of an emotional state. Because it's I see, it's what they see, right? And when you see something, that's when you see your first initial reaction to whatever it is emotionally, when you visually see it. Like, it, it's a different kind of, in, in Aries energy, Other the other fire is I am, so they already know. So the emotions are already kind of set in a way. This is the way I'm seeing things. And so Leo energy is more I will, so they already kind of know too. They know this, they have this drive in them to where they know they will accomplish something. Sagittarius energy is I see. So it's like in more of a 3D way, if they're seeing it, it's it's like that initial reaction when you first see something and there's more emotion like instinctual and or no, 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 primal. That's what I wanna say. Primal emotion attached to it in a way. And this is what I'm seeing here, and that's all temperance. What I was just explained to y'all with Sagittarius energy, that's temperance to me. And it's in reverse because it's um, someone that's trying to hold back that emotion of when they first kind of initially see something. That's what you're holding back. So this is why I think this is so funny because that's a lot of emotion that you are kind of trying to simmer. And... It's also um, a sign that you are your heart is not in balance with itself, which is a blockage, by the way. So let's see. I don't know why I want to pick it up like that. There's your Ten of Pentacles <laughs> that I said before. It's in your heart, see? In <laughs> your cups. You're trying to block that out. It's in your head, but your pentacles are in your heart here. You're trying to keep yourself grounded. But again, it's in reverse because you are thinking about a little bit of trying. You're trying not to think about what you're investing is in, in losing that. There's a, you're out of balance when it comes to the fear of abandonment here. Yeah, the four of wands, there's that union. So that's definitely something in your heart. Um, then the seven of swords in reverse and the king of wands. You are afraid of this person's energy as well. You are afraid that this person is is set with solely focused on what they want to achieve and whatever that looks like or themselves. You know that this is Aries energy, but this is a um, this is someone that is they is I am, you know, that's <laughs> about their, themselves. It's very fiery about when he's in reverse. He's, he can be kind of aggressive when he's focused on what it is that he wants for himself and kind of not really caring so much about the other others around them. With the seven of swords here, this is what you are kind of afraid of, but it's it's different for you because it's not just that you're afraid of this from your person. It's also that you are afraid of this, of them seeing you in this way as well. It's almost like you're hiding, you're afraid of the, what the truth is when it comes to your person. And you're trying to, look at this, the only card that's upright is the four of wands because you are trying to focus on this union energy that you feel solely in your heart that's what your focus is and it, it's associated with that time that we talked about before it's associated with the um the will of fortune that we saw as well you trying to stay in this place to where you with the sunflower being that sun energy staying in this positive space trying to think about the gratitude that you feel in this moment, because the four of wands is an event, it's in a moment, it's a union. You're trying to stay in this energy here, in your heart. Even though all around you, there's a, a lot of kind of fear stuff that's going on that you're trying to block out. 
See, she has her four of wands to protect her from these four energies here. And those four energies of you not feeling like your emotional self here or, or able to be your emotional self or, or ground that out. Um, and, and definitely afraid of losing this Ten of Pentacles here, what you invest into this being lost. And then over here, it's deception. You're afraid of this person deceiving you or being honest with you in some kind of way about doing this for their, do, being cold towards you. This is this energy of being cold towards you and what that's causing you mentally to think about. You're really, you're worried about this in your heart because you don't want to get hurt. But then it goes back to yourself. Like, are you deceiving yourself here? And this person has maybe said some things to you that have for you maybe been kind of like a, a red flag that you may get hurt. And so you're kind of, you're not paying attention. See, she's not looking in either direction. But oddly enough, they're all looking at her. Even this one looks like she's looking at her. They're all looking at her. They're all aimed towards her. In your heart, you're just trying to stay just solely focused on that four of wands energy. Yeah, and the magician in reverse. Because, and this is, goes back to this manifestation that we talked about. And this is the blockage here. And this is why it's coming through. This eight of swords energy is blocking you. This eight of swords here. These are, this is anxiety, guys. This is your thoughts. This is fear that's blocking you from being able to manifest what it is that you really want. It's all around you in your heart. You're, you're trying to stay out of it too much. Um, and your person wants you to be honest anyways. You, this is where you decide what your boundary is when it comes to or how to, can, how to control your emotions as far as your boundary. So giving more than what you're giving, but not becoming overwhelming is a balance that you need to find here. So what about Paul one's person? What, are, what is their heart space telling them? What is their heart space saying? Paul one's person. The six of pentacles in reverse. That's a lack of, of equality. That's a lack of being able to one person giving more than the other is, is something that they feel in their heart. They can feel this. But I don't think that's the, a good feeling. Yeah, the nine of wands, I mean. This is an energy of wanting to fight for. Wanting to fight for what it is that you have. Not wanting to let this go. Even if it's, even if it hurts. Hmm. See how her arms and stuff are all cut, but she's still standing and there's still this guard up. This person in a way is still, two energies I got from that. One is they, they're still in this connection or they're still wanting to fight for this connection even though they feel like that it's something that hurts or will hurt or can hurt. And there's also this energy of still being very guarded and this starting to get to a point to where their guarded energy is what's kind of weighing them down. Does that make sense? The King of Cups. Scorpio energy. Ace of Wands in reverse. The Emperor. There's the Divine Masculine, guys. He's here as well with his king of wands. You have that stag again. Aries energy. 
and the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck with the Four of Wands. And you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> the Eight of Swords, just like you. Theirs is in reverse because this person has recently come out of a, pers a, a different, been able to see some different perspective here that they've been sitting on. And this has to do with time. This is the Wheel of Fortune here. And seeing things again, and I want to go back to here because I didn't talk a lot about it, <clears throat> as an opportunity, as something that's fortunate, a fortunate opportunity. And coming out of, of fearing it. This is what they're coming out of. Not kind of fearing it anymore, but trying to see it as a fortunate opportunity. The four ones, guys. You both have it right here. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> but do you see how the masculine here is still very kind of grounded into his self? And the feminine here is coming towards towards him, but she looks like she's coming out of her own wands, right? And you have this Ace of Pentacles. This person wants to, or is in their heart, you know, this is different. Um, they're coming out of their fear from having a different point of view or perspective. They're in their power here in this emperor energy upright. And this is what they're looking at. This is what they're trying to stay focused on, just like you are. But we saw this is in their heart, their head. There was some stuff going on there. You're both kind of flip-flopped as far as what you need to kind of focus on to make things better um, moving forward. This king of cups, guys, this person has, I mean, he's even holding his heart here with his cup. There's a little bit of guardedness with this person's heart here, but you are still very much so in their, in their heart with this king of cups. Someone that has a very mature kind of emotion that's developing here for you in their heart space. that that's why they feel like they want to fight for this is because of that. And there's some mixed energies that go into it. This person is not wanting to, they are afraid of losing this new beginning. And they're trying to maintain some sort of focused energy on it and how it's all coming together. That's why there's so much going on in their headspace with the little, you know, the analytical part of it. The Six of Pentacles is telling me this person doesn't feel like they, there's a lack of equality here. So the Six of Pentacles in reverse, please, of give and take. They're, it's laying on their heart. They don't feel The King of Wands in reverse, look at that. Two Kings of Wands in reverse right there. Yeah, the Four Swords. It, there's a restlessness kind of feeling in their heart that they that lays on them when it comes to the equality of the connection, how much they're giving to this connection, um, and how much you're giving to this connection. There's, it's like they're trying to maintain that in a certain kind of imbalance for a reason. And it could be because they are trying to get you to emotionally express in a different way or in a more real way, primal way. Um, but this is laying on their heart. I think that this person doesn't feel like they can give to you in the way that I think that they would want to give to you. And the emperor is just them stepping into their power, guys. Let's see what this person would say. 
and then we'll get some cards to see what you would say. And then I'm going to, oh, sorry guys. I know that was loud. Then I'm going to take this over to the extended after I get some initials. And the extended, I'm going to look at actions and what's shifting. And we'll also get some um, overall really advice about the future, like moving forward, which I think is pretty much kind of already came through in this reading. Um, of being kind of, now you know kind of how things are progressing. You know what your thought process is. You can move forward easier. Easier? Easier? <laughs> What would this person say to Paul one if they could say anything? Let's start with let's start with your energy here. What would Paul one say to this person if they could say anything? What would Paul one say to this person if they could say anything? You can't come with me. This is a this is something that lays on your emotions, okay? So when you you think about this, this is the abandonment kind of fear that you're thinking about. This is part of what's keeping you blocked from moving forward in the best way. Chemistry, the attraction you feel is mutual. I know you don't feel the same. And fate, this is a destined partnership. Give me one more. I've been here before with others this, this is this fear, guys, that you're feeling like this person is going to come across in a very aggressive kind of way. And it is the energy they're putting off here. They have this, this King of Wands in reverse, but it's because they don't, and they're not putting energy into this. Look at the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. But it's because they don't feel like it's in balance. And look at that. They have the Ten of Cups with the Six of Cups. Wow. And the Ace of Cups in reverse. Okay. Yeah, this person's not someone that's going to just hand over their emotions. <laughs> um, they they have to feel grounded and imbalanced, and this person does not feel that way, and they sense it from you. They know, but you you feel like that with this person as well. But yours is in a different. It's not as I feel like it's not as strong, or you're just kind of the luck that you feel or that trying to stay so in that kind of energy is is being it's like putting your best self forward and um, and they can sense that from you they i'm telling you guys it's just about you wanting to get your emotions back into balance there's a lot of fear in your heart about this connection, even though it's because you feel so much here, you know, that you tell yourself these other things. This connection can't come together. This uh, Other people have, have been, you know, so-and-so way to me before, and I, this person will end up being this way too. You even kind of with this fate here, it's like you feel this connection in that way and the chemistry, but you try to con almost convince your heart otherwise. It's like you're not being fully honest with your heart about that because you're afraid that this person doesn't feel the same way you do about this union. Okay, so what would this person say to you? What would this person say to Paul one if they could say anything? What would this person, their person, say to Paul one? <laughs> that went all the way on the floor. I know I made a mistake. Okay. I want to tell you so much. Guys, this person, they feel like, they know, this person knows, if this is someone that has ghosted you, left you in the past, has whatever it was, this past energy, whatever that was, it's something that they feel like they messed up in a way because you are most definitely more guarded. I couldn't tell you face to face. It's right on top of that King of Cups. 
what else would this person say to Paula if they could say anything? <clears throat> we don't share the same values. We've talked about that. Um, why is the emperor here? This person, that seven of, of pentacles in reverse, you know, that we saw in their thoughts, this person doesn't see the long-term kind of this coming together. This, this just came out. I'm just going to take it and then, um, we'll get some initials to close. Okay. Marriage. You speak to me through music. I admire you. And you're so easy to see through. <laughs> um, yeah, I think this person does feel like that they can kind of sense that you're not being maybe completely honest in a way. This person is trying to get this primal emotion out of you guys. They are. And think back and, and think about how this person's kind of acted in some kind of way. And look at it like that for a minute just to see if that resonates. This right here is something this person thinks about. This relationship is moving towards a sacred union. And there are so many cards of union here. You, have, you both have the four of wands. And plus you have the union card up there. 1111 is here as well. Divine masculine, divine feminine energy. Um, so, yeah, guys, this is a, definitely a spiritual connection that I'm feeling. And your person's in this emperor energy. They're in their, they're in their power here. And they're trying to take control when it comes to this union. In their in their way, um, because I feel like this person doesn't want to. I don't think that they want to lose this. but they don't feel like they can express, express completely to you. This is, this here is here. I think that you both probably share kind of a musical um, energy as far as you pick up on one another through songs. And I do think this person does admire you. That's, I mean, of course they do. Anybody that you're attracted to, you're going to admire in some kind of way. That you're attracted to in this way. You know, um, this person probably could not tell you face to face. Um, it says here with that King of Cups how they felt. Because this person probably still is trying to figure that out. Empower self. Play, here and now, peace, great cards, abundance again, that's awesome, um, stop identifying with the past, stop identifying with it, and look at that, be honest, guys, come on now, <laughs> so crazy, I love these readings, um, yeah, I ain't much to say about that, huh? Empower yourself, play in the here and now, and have peace in the here and now. Stay in that abundance. You got abundance here so much, guys. So much can come out of this if you stay out of fear and stop identifying with whatever stories are project you're projecting. Stop, stop doing that. You're projecting your insecurities on the connection, and just be honest. Um, be in the here and now. Because this right here is the only way that you can control anything is being in this moment here, right here. If you are thinking about things in the future of the connection and putting any kind of expectation or planning or anything like that, it's actually, it causes a buildup of, in, of anxious energy, which can turn into that anxiety, which is where fear comes from. So just pay attention to your thought here. Five and six. That's the number 11. Um, that's cool. We have H, L, G, E, R, M, R, W, A, X, and G. Another G. I, Y, A, E, A, J, J, 
J A E. We have a lot of E's. We usually don't have very many E's. We have three. Um, what else do we have? Hmm. X can be being at that crossroads. We don't I honestly really have a whole lot. <laughs> I don't see very much. Every time I, oh yeah, no, we have here. Look at that, here and now. Here and now and in here. Here. Wig. Oh, you could put here we go if we had an O, dang it. <laughs> um, okay, guys, I'm going to leave you here because I don't see anything else. You could spell here we are, but somebody's always trying to get a leg up. <laughs> That's what I heard my head. That's funny. Yeah, don't do that either. And you're trying to always get a leg up and you're not being in the present or you're not being completely authentic. That's kind of what this person's kind of saying as well. I mean, that's what they're feeling from you. Okay, so five is the number of change. Six is the number of lovers in tarot. It's about harmony. It's about healing, um, co-creating, cooperation. It's about a cooperation as well. So keep that in mind. This manifestation stuff going on. Okay. So I'm going to leave you here. Hope you enjoyed this. If y'all want to follow me over to the extended, we're going to get into actions to see what actions the two of you are wanting to take towards one another. We'll also take a look at um, probably more message cards and advice of the future energies and how to move forward, what to expect. Okay. So that's in the description box down below if you're leaving me here. Thanks for being here, guys. Thanks for all your love and support and kindness. And I hope to see you guys soon. Bye. Hey, pal two. So if you chose the, um, this is the Spellcaster's Tarot. This will be your person's energy here. And then also we have the, um, the Luna or Lunar. I'm so, I'm sorry. I keep wanting to say Luna Soul, but that's not this. <laughs> the Lunar Eclipse Tarot. Then this will be your energy over here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull some Oracle cards first to start. And I keep forgetting the name of these, but they'll be in the description box. <clears throat> Pile two. So we're going to take a look at first your overall energy and your person's overall energy. Then we'll get connecting energies and then we'll go into their thoughts and then both of your feelings. And then uh, we'll get some message cards and then I'm going to take it over to the extended and we'll get their actions or your actions from there anything that's changing, and then also um, more probably message cards and advice, depending on where your reading goes, okay? So that one actually says flowers, number 11. We'll see if it comes back out. Let's see, pile one, or I'm sorry, pile two. Pile two. Pile two's energy, what's pile two's energy? For their person in the connection. What's Paul 2's energy? What's Paul 2's energy towards the person in the connection? So we have thorns, the number 31. Withering the challenges ahead will bring in a new and positive future. What is Paul? Two's person's overall energy. Paul two's person's overall energy. This person's overall energy. Oh, it did come out again. Look at that. <laughs> flower energy. Um, flower and angel. This is what your person's energy is here. But I want to say that flower could be more of a connecting energy, even though I wasn't going to get that out. Um, because it is the number 11. You have one, two, and three here, so there could be some kind of new beginning that's taking place. But um, 
And you also have 2112, which is a mirrored number. So you could be mirroring one another at this time. You and this person could be kind of going through some similar experiences. You're handling it, handling it in different ways. You are kind of looking at things as a challenge and how to persevere through those. Your person is more of an energy of um, allowing things to unfold the way that they're kind of meant to unfold in a balanced place. This reminds me of temperance, actually. Your person says, your angels are guiding and protecting you on this spiritual journey. So it's like your person's trying to remain in this place to where they feel like there is purpose here in this connection and they're on the right path and they just have to trust and have faith that everything's going to come together in the best way possible. Um, the connecting energy here for flowers, which is also more so connected to your person, be generous, be generous success and emotionally fulfillment are yours. So I think that the two of you are seeing this connection as something that can be very emotionally fulfilling and you're both trying to trust. Um, you're, you are more in a place to where you are, you know, withering the challenges. So you know that there will be challenges of head, ahead here and you may be someone that has being, that is actually more guarded, kind of more of a nine of wands energy is what I'm feeling. So it's, you are guarded here, but you feel like you're ready. You, you can take this on because you do see this connection as something that could be successful and emotionally fulfilling for you. Um, or it's just being on the right path. You just being in a place to where you're in the on the path that you're meant to be on if you aren't connected to this person fully for some of you. Because um, I am feeling for some of you, there is some sort of disconnect that's here. Your person, on the other hand, is, again, there's just trusting. They're listening to their inner guidance. They're trying to be divinely kind of led here. Um, they feel like they're on the right path. They have found this inner like balance that they feel like they, they have is this kind of control of their emotions and feeling in balance to how things are currently. But this is a beautiful energy right, for the connecting energies. Whether you're with this person or not, you're both in a place to where you're seeing things like the more positive part of the connection or the more generous or successful. Just like when you look at back at a connection and you're reminiscing or thinking about the more positive ways of that connection and what that brought to you in your life, this is what, where you both are currently. So if that makes sense. Um, Okay, so let's get, we're going to start with, oh yeah, I forgot. I am going to pull a Queen of the Moon Oracle for more kind of overall energy for the both of you. So I wasn't planning on getting that as connecting energy. One of you here, I'm hearing for you, it's like perseverance. And for your person, it's like peace. Overall energy for Paul two. What's the the number eighteen pleasure, <laughs> which goes into the flower, right? Um, Gerber daisy, by the way. So, like a Gerber daisy is a, um, it's like the the youthfulness or the funness or the the pleasureful part of the connection itself is something that the two of you are trying to focus primarily on. Um, and, and embracing this and embracing that and embracing this understanding that things are the way that they're meant to be currently. Um, sorry, guys, mom. Deal's smoking kind of in a weird way from what it normally does. And it keeps getting in my face. <laughs> um... So the number 18 is the moon. So the two of you are both trying to kind of, which is Pisces energy, you're both trying to allow yourself to feel the pleasure of the connection without letting the moon kind of get in the way of things. Also, you have 111 here as well, which is important. <laughs> Did y'all hear that? I would have swore my phone was on silent. Um, I say that now, I swear y'all, every time I put my phone on silent, so it is what it is. 
Um, so you have one, one, one here, which means you're on the right path. Keep listening to your, your gut and your heart, which is what the two of you are doing. So that's interesting, I feel. So let's get into your energy first. We're going to get overall message for your thoughts. What are you thinking about your person in this connection? What comes to your thoughts? And then we'll also get your persons beneath yours and compare. So what is Paul? That thing is still getting in my face, guys. <laughs> what is Paul? Two's thoughts about their person currently. Paul two. What is Paul two's thoughts currently? What is in their head? What are their thoughts about their person in this connection? Paul two. What are their thoughts about this person in the connection? What's in their head? The world in reverse. What are their thoughts about Paul two in this connection? What's in their head? What are their thoughts? You're thinking about, look at there, the four ones. Lots of union energy, guys. Paul one was in that union energy as well. Coming together. Judgments here as well. So, how are you, what are your action or what are your thoughts here? Let's focus on this. Your thoughts. So, your current thoughts are, I feel like that you are thinking about past connections and how they've kind of went for you as far as um, how they've kind of ended in the past. You're kind of reflecting on that a lot. But you are reflecting on how you, the way you were in the past in those connections and how you can kind of change that moving forward. Um, <clears throat> you're looking at them as looking at them as in cycles of what you've experienced and how you kind of don't want to experience that same sort of thing. In a level of needing or wanting to be more authentic um, when it comes to this person in this connection, you're wanting to be honest here with judgment, Scorpio energy. You're wanting to be truthful and you're wanting to kind of uh, you are in this energy here of waking up to seeing this to, as being a fulfillment for you something that you want to stabilize here you don't definitely don't want to lose this um you don't want this to be over so you also have the three of one so that's about waiting here and the eight of cups there are some things that you think about that you need to kind of still remove from your thought process. And here's the devil to, to prove it. <laughs> in the Hierophant in reverse with the King of Swords. So you may be someone that is, you're not really quite sure if you're ready um, logically to, to, there's a couple of messages that I'm seeing here. So for different for everybody. Some of, some of you are kind of, not knowing if this is someone that you can be in a committed relationship with and you know that you in order for you to ever get to that point you have to kind of see your way past the devil so the negative energies the negative thought processes that are here you need to be able to when you think about connections and the thinking about the negativity of connections is something that you've been holding on to probably from past connections that you know you need to let go of that's the part of that reflection But you're definitely trying, to, you're being honest with yourself about this. You know, you're being truthful with yourself about this. Um, and I feel like you're in a place to where you almost kind of, for some of you, there are some things about this connection that maybe don't quite, you don't know how would, how they would quite align for you in a more of a realistic type of way. And that's something that you need to see past or get by. That's a negative thought that you that, that you know is there that you have to kind of get over or see past. This is, we're talking about what's in your head here. So um, this three of wands, if you, this is you kind of sitting and waiting to see how things kind of go. Um, knowing that there's things here that you need to kind of heal and you need to kind of get over those things and leave those things in the past and again past relationships and the reflection of that just keeps kind of coming in the defensiveness that's here with that as well 
So if you've been defensive because of the past relationships, it's something that that you are trying to kind of move on from. It's something you want to move on from because you see this person, I feel like, as someone that could be pleasurable for you in your life, emotionally fulfilling and successful here. And you see it as kind of a wish fulfillment you want to move towards. So you want to leave this Eight of Cups, this past energy in, in the past and move towards that. Um, kind of like this awakening here, you're waking up to the fact that this is something that could be beneficial, could be very successful, this relationship. So how is your person currently feeling? What is in what is in Paul II's person's this deck? What is in Paul II's person's thoughts? What is in Paul II's person? My goodness. <laughs> Paul II's person's thoughts. Paul II. What is in Paul II's person's thoughts? It's in their head, their spirit. One more. What's in Paul II's person's? One more good one. Pal <laughs> two's person's thoughts. This deck didn't want to cooperate with me today. Pal two's person's what's in their thoughts, what's in their head about this connection. We have the Nine of Wands in reverse, which is an energy you have under that King of Swords. Um, the the Nine of Swords and the Chariot. What else? We also have the Three of Swords and the Five of Swords in reverse. Their bottom of the deck for that is the Two of Swords in reverse. With judgment. They also have judgment and the world. You can't make that up. I mean, come on now. In reverse as well. So they're in a place to where they're seeing things and they don't want things to end either. You know, they don't, they're also kind of letting go of some past stuff. And um, they feel like this is not over. This is definitely something that's not over for them. Truth is, is that this person is not in a place to make a decision to end things, even if they wanted to. They f heavily feel this Three of Swords energy. So if this is someone that you're currently separated from, they are feeling the se separation that's here and wanting to kind of bring this back together. They want to kind of bring things back together with this Five of Swords in reverse. If you've had a conflict with this person, they, they are seeing past this conflict that was here or any kind of communication that was shared here. And they want to kind of move past that, whatever, what that, whatever that was. They want to move into a better direction. They want to get over this Three of Swords, um, the separation, the, the pain that was caused. Um, anything that happened between you two or something in their past, they want to get past this. It's all around it. These two energies here that are around this Three of Swords is they feel that they could be easily maybe hurt here, um, but they don't want to. And maybe you have said some things to this person that has hurt this person, but they want to still make amends. They want to still come out of that place. Um, and move on to something that's that's better because they don't they as well like I said here the truth here is is that they don't want this to be over they also feel like there's some pressure here from the outside for some reason I'm feeling like for things to work out, there's pressure from the outside. I don't know how exactly that fits for everybody's situation, but it's something that I'm seeing right here, like how maybe this is something that others maybe not, maybe won't accept fully. Um, it's like an overwhelming feeling of a pressure that's being placed on this person of making the right choice or making good choices or making something that 
whatever their truth is, it's hard to balance out their truth and express their truth to others, communicate their truth to others of how they feel or what they want. That's gonna look different for everybody, but that's just something that this person's thinking about in their head. This not a ones in reverse is a very, this is a really hot and cold energy. So when they think about you, they do see you as, as someone that's very hot and cold when it comes to, and very quick, and maybe a little bit harsher with your communication. Um, but they're, they're able to maintain a good emotional space with that. And that brings me back up to here with this angel energy of your person seeing things as being guided. They feel guided and protected here moving forward. So they are feeling this three of swords. But they overcome it with the five of swords in reverse. It's like this happens here with you, hot and cold quick communication here and then they grab the reins of their emotions and try to steer them clear into the best direction they take control of the three of swords before the three of swords gets out of hand before the pain from that experience or whatever it is gets out of hand and for those of you where you're step separated from this person this is like a mental thing so once their mind starts to kind of run run away with itself, um, as far as rem reminiscing about things that were said, they're able to take control of those feelings and control the Three of Swords to make amends mentally to come out of that with this Five of Swords in reverse. Does that make sense? That's how they're able to maintain this angel in pleasure kind of energy get past that moon you just are in a place to where you want to persevere through this you both have judgment on you so you're both awakening to the truth you're both kind of having this renewal having this new transition of how you're seeing things it's kind of transforming You're waiting here, I feel like, for the uh, opportunity to... You're, it's like you're being patient with yourself. And you know if you maintain this patient energy that you'll be able to get past this past thorns, you know, this wall that you have up, this... It's like being in a relationship and knowing that if you continue and, and you stay stable in that relationship and you stay honest that you'll get past all those insecurities that you could be still carrying from Pat, from your past, whether it's with this person or someone else. Even if you're separate, if you're not with this person, it's the same kind of energy moving on just in relationships. And that brings me back to here, accepting things for the better part of the relationship and what that's kind of brought you. So if that made sense, let's go ahead and clear this out here. I'm going to get into your person's heart space. In your heart space. Okay. So pile one, I mean, I said it again, didn't I? <laughs> pile two, maybe there's some messages in pile one. Pile two. Pile two. What's Pile two's heart space for this connection? This person. What's in Pile two's heart space for this connection and this person? Oh my gosh, she got the world again. This time it's upright and it has the Ace of Wands there with it. <laughs> New beginning, you know, ending. An ending in a, in, a, in a new brand new beginning here, this Ace of Wands. Brand new, like a passionate beginning. That pleasure is coming out again. Um, call to, what is their heart? What's in their heart? The star in reverse. 
there's a little bit of, um, that's kind of where I fear comes on, comes in when it comes to your heart. But I think for you guys, it's you kind of trying to stay out of, it's like you want to stay in this present moment and you want to stay out of, oh, creating some kind of wish here for yourself because I think that you, in this moon energy, may be a little bit afraid of putting that on this connection and then it becoming a heavy expectation, you know, and you not wanting to be that in that energy in your heart is a way for you to protect your heart space. If I don't have any wish of what this is going to turn out to be, and then I won't be devastated if it doesn't come together in that way. So you're not allowing yourself to dream, you know, too far into this. How to, how are they feeling in their heart for their person in this connection? Come here. Page of Pentacles in reverse. So you do hesitate a little bit um, of how to kind of ground this or how to make this kind of become a realistic kind of thing in your heart because of this star, I feel like, in reverse. And this is the challenge, you know, but you're going, you're, you're facing it. Look at that, the four of wands in reverse. Remember, you had it up right before, but in your heart, it's in reverse because it's it's not, you're not, this is an ungrounded energy that, that's here. All you're in now is knowing that you want to close out cycles and start something new. This is what you're in now. This is where you want to be. You don't want to be too far into this grounding something in the future, in your heart. We're talking about your heart space. Because if it's in your heart space in that way, again, that sets yourself up for a possibility to have it not be an expectation. And there may be a little bit of you being afraid of, of sabotaging this if you do have an expectation. Because then you're always looking for the next requirement of that. Okay, so what's the next level here? What's the next stage? And you're wanting to be more in this Ace of Wands, which is a really more of a um, just feeling the experience itself, the pleasure of the experience itself currently. The Hanged Man. Yeah, you're trying to kind of, this is a new perspective that you've gained if you can stay in this energy and you're trying to maintain it is the deal. Just need to maintain this energy here and not get too far caught up in what's not grounded or any kind of past experiences, especially if this is with your person, but past experiences of how things have gone in the past here with the Empress in reverse, any kind of codependencies that were here in the past. I'm trying to stay away from that. I'm trying to not be in that place and be in this more of an independent kind of energy. Um, so that I can maintain this, some sort of stability here. You don't feel like there's any kind of peace when it comes to how things will unfold in the future for you yet. You can't like really visualize it completely. And you know that that's an area that will cause anxiety. So you just don't go to there. You just don't go there. So when you think about this person, this connection, you're solely in right here in this moment. And you just don't go where you can't make sense of things because you know that's just for you is going to bring up that devil's gonna be there and you don't even wanna give the devil the opportunity to create some kind of fear. You wanna enjoy things like they are. So let's see what, that's why your person's feeling a hot and cold energy, I feel. So what is Pal 2's person's, Pal 
Paul II's heart. What is in Paul II's person's heart space? What is in their heart space for Paul II? What is in their person's heart space? Death. So they feel this transition. What is in Paul II's person's heart space? The Five of Cups in reverse. They're wanting to Let me get some more before I say what I'm thinking here. Give me some more. How's Pal 2's person's heart space? What's on their heart? What's their heart space? The Emperor in reverse. Remember, saw the Empress in reverse? The Four of Pentacles in reverse. This person's trying to give you your freedom. They know. This person's trying to give you your freedom because there's an energy here of them wishing they would have acted a different way, maybe in the past, if you have a past with this person. I have to say this real quick because I forgot. If this is somebody you're disconnected with, then your energy up here it's just saying that you're trying to close out and heal some cycles, learning your lessons and everything from this connection, and you're looking to have a brand new beginning moving forward. But again, you don't want to put any kind of expectations on that. Now go back to here real quick. Your person here is, they feel kind of, I don't, there's a remorsefulness immediately when this Five of Cups came out in reverse, that's all where they don't, maybe they didn't take the, um, they took advantage of things in the past, or maybe they feel like they were, there's something about, they don't feel like maybe they've treated this, they treated the situation the way that they should have. And that is something, is something that they're changing in their heart. And they're kind of allowed, there's a lot of control there, by the way, but they are seeing you as wanting to be more, they feel like you want to be more independent and they feel like you want to have more freedom here. They know in their heart, they feel a lack of security. And that's where that three of swords, I think is coming in. Um, And this person has healed past some things that has called, caused a transformation in their energy, in their heart. One more card, please, for Katu's person's heart space. Two cards came out. The moon, again, and the high priestess in reverse. This person is trying to be honest with themselves and not let the moon kind of take over. They're trying to not overthink anything and anything that, like the energy that you're in, look at the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Cups with the Seven of Swords in reverse and the Two of Wands. Remember, you had the Eight of Cups before. This person, they don't know what the future looks like. They want things to be different for them. They want to get past whatever has happened here and move forward. Um, and they're trying to not overthink about things and what they don't know, or if there's any kind of secrets that are here that they're unaware of. They're trying to not let that moon take control of their thoughts. Again, it comes just right back up here, guys. They're just trying to be guided in a, in a direction that's best for both of you and not let anything kind of overtake them. They don't want their thoughts to overtake them. Okay, so let's see what you would say to this person first.
what this person just seems different than they in their heart they feel different they feel there's a more trying to gain control that's here and not wanting to disappoint you or not wanting to disappoint themselves What would you say to, well, that was fast. I'm sorry. What would you say? So your, that past energy that you've been holding on to could have been a, reflected on this connection in a harmful way to the connection itself. So if there's been past relationships that have hurt you and how that pain has reflected onto this connection and caused some disagreements or caused some kind of stress on the connection. That's something that you would, you know, if you could say, I'm sorry, that's something that you would apologize for if you haven't. I don't know how to feel. Yeah. You're still kind of, I think you're still figuring out how you do feel in chemistry. Yeah. This is something that you're, as far as that star goes, you're trying to play it as you go to see how it goes as as time goes by instead of kind of being in a place to where you're it's like you're allowing yourself to grow with this connection instead of having the plan before you start but you definitely do feel the chemistry you know it's up here with all this here you just wanting to maintain this chemistry that you feel with this person I remember every detail of that day. So there could be a particular day that you keep thinking of or you keep remembering um, that causes you to kind of hesitate. Could have been something that you feel like didn't go well with this person or something that you just feel like may not even be with this person. It's just an experience that you've had that you feel like keeps you from being able to like learn your lesson. And you think about that and you're like, I don't want to have to experience anything like that again. And I, and I need to remember my learning my lesson here. So I need to be careful with what I say. So it might cause you to be a little bit hesitant at times. What, what else would Paul II's person say? Okay, well, you got two cards that came out. I left before you could leave me. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You broke my heart. That's right on top of that four of wands in the reverse. So, you could have felt like this person said, did, or acted, or whatever something in a way that caused you to be not feeling good about the connection, not feeling grounded, not feeling stable, or not feeling like you could trust this person in some kind of way, it caused you pain. And so what happened is you got out of this connection here or left this connection or you think about that before your heart gets broken. And that keeps you in that hesitation, right? And this is your heart space, I mean, that we were talking about. So, okay, so what would your person say? Paul II's person, what would they say to Paul II if they could say anything? Paul II's person. Friendship. And I miss hearing your voice. This person, I feel like, I feel like this person, if they're apart from you, they do miss your friendship here, obviously. But I think that for some of you, it's right on top of that death there. I think that this person wishes that this could evolve into something that was more intimate for the two of you, as far as a more, a deeper connection goes. Um, I think this person does miss maybe spending time with you or being able to feel that friendship or that bond that was there 
What else would this be? So many things remind me of you. Yeah, this is what this person I feel like is trying to control though, is when they, those things come to mind, when they're faced with all those reminders, controlling their emotions around that. Put the computer away. If this person could be spying on you or kind of checking up on you or wondering about you or Whatever it is, even if this person feels like you are, I mean, this is, a, to me, this is kind of time in a way. This person, I feel like, wants to spend time with you, but also that they're, they're trying to not kind of spy on you in any kind of way either. I mean, they're afraid of what they'll see. I've been here before with others, so this is this moon energy. This is what they're trying to avoid. Um... It's almost like this person feels like their love isn't enough. Um, past life love, your soul remembers this intense connection. I don't need your approval. I wanna tell you how I feel. I do feel like this is an, this is a intense connection for this person and look at that ace of swords wanting to show itself so bad. <laughs> Kept tucking it back in there and it's still there again. Yeah, this person in a way that what they're hiding here, I feel like is that they do want some truthful communication from you. Um, they wish that they could get this truthful communication here from you, but, and this is what they're afraid of. I think that they're afraid of what that would be that's the moon on top of that high priestess. What is it that they don't know? That that terrifies this person because of the experiences that they've had with others. But they feel this connection. Um, okay, so I'm actually going to get y'all some... Um, Y'all's was not as long as Paul one. I don't know why. <laughs> it just wasn't. But I'm, So I'm actually going to get some... Um, of these here for you guys. And then I'm gonna take it to the extended. No, I'm not, I don't wanna do that because I need to know better. I wanna get it biased in some kind of way. For those of you that aren't in communication, and even if you are, these might be relevant as well. We're gonna, I'm gonna pull some of these love notes. More message cards. What else? What else? Would Paul II's person say to them? What would Pile Two's person? You make my heart skip a beat. I get butterflies when we talk. That's a connection they feel with you. I see my future when I look into your eyes. Yeah. I think that's scary for this person, though, and I don't. I don't. Um. I feel like that makes this person nervous because they feel like they could wrap themselves up in that if they're not careful. That's why they're having to remain in this control, controlling their feelings, controlling their thoughts. I'm learning to open my heart. Yeah, I think this person's trying to be more vulnerable here. If you're connecting with this person, they're trying to be more vulnerable with you. As far as they're trying to open up their heart and how you may possibly be feeling and why, you are feeling that way. And again, they're trying to allow themselves to let you almost be more, have more freedom here. You know, they're trying to not kind of smother you <laughs> with their love, you know, in any kind of way they're trying to. And especially if this person is someone that tends to be more jealous, um, they're trying to not be that way. They're trying to not let that fear, because that is a fear um, of someone else kind of taking you in some kind of way from them. They're trying to not act that way because they don't want to push you away. You are the one that I've been looking for my whole life. I see my future when I look into your eyes. You're the one I've been looking for. That is scary to this person, guys. I 
don't know why I'll let you go. At some, for some of you, if you're disconnected from this person, there you go. If you're not, this person is like in their head, they're thinking, why did they ever give up on this connection? If they ever did, why did they? They think about this. Um, I wanted to play the field and now look at that where that got me. This person may have tried to get over you um, by maybe dating, you know, for some of you. And it's just, it's not getting them anywhere because they, they never wanted, they shouldn't have let you go. It's what they're saying here. If this person's disconnected from you, they say, man, I shouldn't let that person go because I don't, I don't feel like anybody else compares to that person. And I should have, I should have stayed devoted to them or I should have at least stayed in a hope, more hopeful energy with them. Okay. Hold on, guys. Thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking what I'm going to grab now. I guess I'm going to get some of these. And then we'll get some key cards and initials to close, okay? And then I'm going to take this to the extended. And we'll see what the actions are, what future energies are. Um, probably get maybe more message cards and definitely some more advice. Pal 2. Any advice for Pal 2? Any advice you have here for Pal 2? Any advice so far for Pal 2? Okay, it's a great advice. <laughs> I'm going to just stop right there. Um, and regret as well. You cannot regret, okay? This is here, this is the thing. You cannot, and, you, and judgment again, which you both had, if you remember in the beginning. You can't regret the spark that's here. You need to trust the spark that you feel in this connection. This, and if you're not connected with this person anymore, trust that that spark was real. That's what this means to me, as far as advice goes. Don't ever regret anything where you feel that chemistry and you feel that spark and you feel that feeling with this person. Even if it's it's not, they're not in your life forever, at least they were, you felt that experience and acknowledged that experience. And that's where we started here in the beginning of your reading with that flower energy and that pleasure and recognizing the the, the love that was here, the peace that was here, the, the fe good feelings that you felt, the pleasure of the connection and, and, and feeling that. For, one, for those of you that are actually connecting with this person, this is just saying don't regret something that causes that chemistry and that spark to trust in that. We have empower yourself. Yeah, move away from the Looking friend. This came out the other day. Same, similar. Maybe I just need to shake up the bag a whole lot. <laughs> I shake it every time, though. I put my hand in there. Um, this is a repetitive message that keeps coming out in my readings just over and over and over. There's something to do with some kind of friend that you're listening to. Guys, this could be anybody that you listen to, um, that you see as a friend, that that is kind of like a red flag. You keep kind of seeing it as maybe this is a red flag, but you're not acknowledging it fully. This is a call for you to empower yourself and move away, move away from that friend, whoever that is. They're saying here to move away from that friend, um, whoever this is, and it may not be a friend. It's just maybe somebody that's close to you like a friend. There's something to do with moving away from this energy because it's causing you to be in it. I'm gonna pull one more. Well, let me pull these. We have what's under that. Time alone. And patience, wait. Guys, there's there's something to do with this, you being around someone and you need to, in order to empower yourself here, have this time alone and have this patience with yourself. Um, that's what's underneath that. that. That red flag or that friend could be someone that kind of brings you down or you feel like this person, whoever it is, is someone that kind of brings you down in some kind of way. And they're saying here is that you need to, I think that they're saying to move away from that person. I mean, kind of spend some time alone away from that person and give yourself some patience because 
every time I feel like you get into this self-empowered kind of energy when it comes to this connection and wanting to overcome these challenges, something may happen here with that friend where they bring you back down and you start thinking about what they've said and what's underneath what they've said. Sorry about that. And all that kind of stuff. And they're saying you need to spend some time alone away from that person so that you can have patience with yourself and don't act on anything that that person's saying. You know how somebody can, oh gosh, you know, guys, we can have people in our lives that we can be totally in a fine energy with our relationship, in a great place with our relationship. And then we could go hang out with somebody who thinks that they have our best interest but they're telling us things of their perspective, which is like nothing like what yours is. And they're only, they're telling you these things that are coming from a place of what their vision of what a relationship is or what they've experienced in a relationship, their advice from that perspective. And sometimes they can put things in your head that are negative. Whereas before you were in a, a great place, they can create illusions and they can make you think about things that is a challenge it, it make it keeps you in this repetitive like challenge so that's something that you need to think about there not always be away just maybe you should just take a break is what they're saying time alone so you know you can bring yourself back to center and be away from that person for a little bit we have uh, peu we have the star, which is that wish, you know, a wish come true. We have the X, so being at a crossroads. Three is about growth, how you want to grow this or how you want things to blossom. Um, we have E. Then we have P, E again. Um, another X. <laughs> K, M, and a W. Um... N D O I G. We have the heart. A L D A. We have land here. Yeah, create your own space. You need to create your own space. Um, I don't know what that means for everybody, but there's something about you creating your own space, um, even mentally, you know how you want this connection to play out. We have load here as well. Yeah, so that you can let go of the burden. There, I'm telling you, if you live with somebody here, if y'all live with a friend, um, that's there's something here, guys, about moving away to empower yourself. Take the load off. We have K-I-N-L. If we had a D, I was like, what? Be kind. Be kind. It will help you become a better person, I feel like. If you could get away from that. it would. I think it would help you become a better person. Lo loading. Landing. Loading and landing. Um... The X again, that is the X, so being at a crossroads. What else? Mind. Mind your business. <laughs> Not you, but if there's someone around you, you know, you know, it's trying to get in your head. Mind your business. <laughs> Um, we also have wind, so a change in the wind. This could change things significantly if you could get into your own. There's burdens here for some guys. There's some sort of burdens that are here, and if you can get those out of your head or out of your line of vision or sight or whatever is going on here with that, this could change things for you so much. It could really empower you. Um, 
to, to drive you to, to move forward in a really profound kind of way. Okay, so I'm gonna leave y'all here. Um, I also see three strikes here. So three strikes and you're out. <laughs> Maybe this friend's done something to you. Um, I don't know what that means. It's different for everybody, but here you go, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna leave y'all here. I'm gonna take over to the extended. We're gonna take a look at the actions here for you and your person and what's gonna happen with those actions, where it's gonna take you, what's what's the future energy of the connection itself and advice with that. Um, so if you're interested, that's in the description box down below. They're usually like, I don't know, 30 to 30 minutes to an hour long. I just kind of let them go. So I'll be over there. If not, and um, you're leaving me here, then thanks for being here, guys. Thanks for all your love and all your support and kindness, and I hope to see you guys soon.